Kitchen and Juliet. So today I'm going to show you how to make my version of a delicious and quick pasta carbonara. I'm calling it pasta and spaghetti because I am using fresh pasta. So let's get started. So what I'm going to use for my pasta carbonara is some fresh pasta, some shredded mozzarella, pepper, salt, butter, and I have two cloves of garlic here and I've just pressed it with my knife. And then some eggs, some shredded parmesan, and here I have some bacon. I cannot afford a good piece of pancetta, so if you have money for pancetta, just buy that instead of bacon. But if you are like me with a low budget, just buy some bacon, but it will taste better with pancetta. So what I'm going to do is to lightly whisk my eggs and then add in some pepper and my mozzarella cheese and most of my parmesan because I want to use some of it to sprinkle on top finish dish. And then I'm going to boil my pasta and while that is boiling I'm going to add in some butter to a pan and then my bacon and my garlic and then I'm going to let that fry in there and when my bacon is nice and creepy I am going to take the garlic up again because now all the flavors are in there and then I'm going to take my pasta up when it is done just with a thong or something like that and just get it over in there uh, and don't worry about the slightly amount of water that is getting in there we like that and after that I am going to turn off the heat and then add in my egg and cheese mix and just using my thong to make sure it's all getting well combined and after that it is ready to be served just with some salt and some pepper on top and then the last cheese. So I really hope you enjoyed my version of a pasta carbonara and if you want to try this yourself just go down in my description and you can find all the ingredients down there. And you can always add in a lot more cheese, a lot more egg, butter, pancetta, whatever you like, just make it your own and yeah, I hope you want to subscribe to my channel here and I also hope that I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye!